Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zach Aguilar. I am the English voice actor for Ether in Genshin Impact, the male traveler. And today, I am playing the beta of Honkai Star Rail. Welcome. And huge shout out to Hoyoverse for sponsoring this stream. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so excited for this. How you guys doing? Isn't this beautiful? Look at this train is going into the ethereal abyss in space. I love the colors, actually. Um, I don't know if you can tell behind me. I got kind of like a little, little space theme happening. How you guys doing? It's been a minute. <clears throat> I have been doing a lot of work recently. A lot of work. A lot of fun things I'm working on. I'm excited to share. But, um... But, yeah. What's going on? It's Paimon's birthday. It what? It was Paimon. Wasn't that like a few days ago? Yo. Hi. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the love, guys. It's great to be back. It's it's been too long. Paimon's birthday is today. Is that this? Is that in the U.S. time zone? I think that's in the in the U.S. time zone, maybe, possibly. We'll start here in just a few minutes, guys. Just want to make sure everyone gets in, gets into the stream. Yo. I am so excited. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the supers, by the way. Thank you so much, Takia. I hope you're doing well. It's been... It has been a while. MJ. Ilea. Welcome back. And Emma, happy birthday. It is on the 22nd. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emma. Happy birthday to you. I hope it is awesome. Uh, Jacqueline, welcome back. Uh, Sarukasaki. I, the Air King, I am. I'm the master of uh, wind blades. And uh, lots of other things. Lots of, lots of other elements. Um, Juni. And Leo, welcome to the Air Buds. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Yo, Toasty, great meeting you at the convention. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by my table. Robin, Kai the Airbud, thank you. Welcome back to the Airbuds. <clears throat> Happy birthday to everyone! It's everyone's birthday!
All right. Oh, there he is. Coming through. Gaggy Films. What's up, Alejandra? How you doing, man? Ignis, welcome to the Airbuds. Sing us happy birthday. Everyone's happy birthday. What are you talking about? Sing everyone happy birthday. I only sang Emma happy birthday. And it's not because they donated me $10. Yes. Use the wind blade emojis. That's why I put them there. Uh, let's see. What did I say? And... One sec. I want to say, uh... Naomi Brunson, thanks for the super chat. Lady Daniela, I hope you feel better soon. I hope you and your brother feel better soon. And welcome back to the Airbuds. Rest up, guys. Um, Ignis, welcome to the Airbuds. Suichi, welcome back to the Airbuds. Alan Sky, welcome back to the Airbuds. Christina Chu, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Kelly, 13 months, how you doing? You're in New York City right now for a special illustration program. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, Sunizus, thank you for the 10 months. Larissa, welcome. Kagi Films Alejandro Saab, welcome to the Airbuds. Hello. And hey guys, if you are uh, interested in Honkai Star Rail, you can check out the link at the top of my description at any point in time during this stream or after this stream. Click, click the link. Click the link right, it's right there. I will sing happy birthday to every single one of you. Um, <laughs> I don't know where happy birthday came from. Uh, Felnir, welcome back to the Airbuds. Auxilium Plays, thank you for 16 months in a row being an Airbud. Yo, great to see you back, Auxilium. Ashley, welcome to the Airbuds. Stephanie, how are you doing? And Veronica... It was nice to see you too at both of the conventions. What? Back to back. It's been a lot of fun traveling, guys. It's been, I don't know, I don't know how many of you I have gotten to meet out at some of these uh, conventions, but it's been great. Like, I think it's just surreal to be in all these different places and to see all these faces now. Um, before because like i don't know it's it's just it's hard to explain what it feels like it's it's kind of like i don't know how to put this in a non like non big ego way but before you would go to a convention and it's like oh yeah maybe you'll see like a few people you know you'll you'll go do a panel and you're you'll just pray that like it has five people um maybe <laughs> like just like three people in your panel and now it's absolutely crazy just to see like all the love and support from everyone like people will come from all over the place and say oh my gosh like i came here to see you from you know wherever like all the way across the states or even from another country and i'm like what it's so cool um I will say, I think it's very weird to go from going to a convention and then go coming back home and being like a normal person. 
you know I, I don't know how to explain that but when you go to a convention it's just different like people people at this convention will probably know who you are but then you know everyone else in the rest of society <laughs> does not care um so it's just, it's kind of interesting but i think it's the best of both worlds like if you really wanted to have that i guess if you really wanted to like i couldn't imagine someone who's so famous that like everybody recognizes them everywhere that's crazy um music lover brie how you doing and oh so sorry i am kind of behind on super chats um addy thank you for coming to see me raquel welcome to the airbuds um uh saruka says have fun with the game thank you thanks for the 20 dollars super chat um yes did i say music lover brie it was great meeting you as well uh stephanie I am good. How are you? I'm doing the Genshin. Come, come back to uh, Ohio. I would love to go back. And all right. Hold on a sec. I'm just checking my thing. Hold on one sec. It has been a minute since I have streamed, guys. I'm getting my thing all... Checking my audio. I appreciate the love in the super chat. Uh, for the super chats. And just to clarify, guys, once again, I see some people getting confused. This is, this is the beta of the game. This is the beta of Honkai Star Rail. Okay. Okay. I say it's time to start, guys. Let's go. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm clicking start. the tracks left by the travelers on their path. Okay. Music's so pretty. Forty-seven fifteen system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh huh. Twenty-three forty-four fifty-nine system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. What is a two system hour? All right. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. 
Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we just kind of do whatever. It's fine. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all. Elio didn't put it in the script. It's why would it matter? It's not in the script. Okay, let's see. How do I? So we are in the tutorial, looks like. How do I click to use basic attack? Single attack? Ow. Switch to skill. E blast select. Okay. Nice. I love the animation for it. Looks cool. I don't know why. I am a sucker for anything that's like galaxy related. You know, you could see in the enemies how they had like the little galaxy in them. So let's check out Kafka's design. I think those are like little webs on her shoulders. I could be mistaken. I'm just kind of looking around like get me some soda out of this vending machine. When did the antimatter legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Doomsday Beast? What is that? Can I fall off here? I don't know why. That's the first thing I try to do in every video game. Okay, look. I try to jump off. The, try to see. <laughs> will it let me <laughs> jump? Okay. Weakness. Did I hit so it from the back? Me, huh? Is that what happened? <laughs> Didn't hurt. Watch me, watch me die to uh, the tutorial. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. I have an ultimate. A glance. AOE attack. That's what I'm now talking then, about. Where are you Whoa. Did that shoot out some like little pellets that then exploded? I I wasn't. It's like little pellets on, then they explode. Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description, you know, Kafka. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silver Wolf? Some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. Silver. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Okay, we got some rare items, interesting gadgets. I want some of that. There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Wait, oh... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a sec. She's talking about uh, any creature. I don't know why. Instantly, I thought of like an animal or something. 
<laughs> I don't know about you guys. I was like, D maybe the monsters or something. Maybe there's some kind of like mechanic for that. No, it's you can you can rate literal humans. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. Show me the power level. Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Okay. Joins team temporarily. Cool. So we can switch characters. I like that. It's like Technoblade. Ah! Space station is up ahead. There are lo lots of gym void majors. Okay. So, what happens? I am I able to... There's a wall there. I can't sneak past this guy, right? Look at... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, you see me. Oh no, it's cons that's considered an ambush? Okay, fine. All right, fine. I'm the one who always tries to sneak by everybody, okay? I don't like fighting. Can you let me have some fun this time? Quantum weakness is one of the enemy's weakness types. You can use so Silver Wolf uses quantum attacks to target the enemy's weakness. I see. So it's kind of like you know, certain certain enemies have uh, have their different weaknesses. Some are weak to you know this thing and others and oh, activate the this ultimate. That needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. Get hacked. Nice. Tutorials now available. All right. All tutorials on the tutorial screen. Ultimate can be used when a character's en energy is full. Pretty straightforward. I mean, typical, you know, get hacked. Using the skill consume skill points while using basic attacks will restore skill points. So you're out of skill points, use the basic attack. You will get those skill points back and then you can use uh, your skills. All right, sweet. What is this? Little power cell. Destructible objects. Try breaking objects lying in the corners or along the path. You may find something useful. Okay. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Uh oh. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. Yes, we are. I love those blades. Look at this. But they're the ones getting besieged. Oh! So you don't like me, huh? So I'm curious. It does move in an order, so I have to... I do have to use Kafka first. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Oh, so you can press Z and kind of see 
Void Ranger, Reaver, Warrior yet to perish. Antimatter. They are violently aggressive. Embodying and acting according to the will of destruction. Okay. Nice, I can check out my enemies. Yeah, what is this? Void Ranger Distorter. All right. Oh, two, and it shows the turns remaining too. All right. Take this. You oh took yeah. The bait just like that. I came at a bad time. Time for a buzz. Since these guys are weak to, uh, ouch. So you don't like me, huh? So you don't like me, huh? You took the bait just like that. What happens if I don't like do anything here to this guy? Let me see. What if I just go over this way? Time for a buzz. <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. This guy recover? Oh, nope, let me there he goes. This time? Time for a <laughs> Quantum. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be What's surprised that? if there's one in that can make it happen. In a non-physical way? Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. Is there some kind of hacking we need to do? Investigate the terminal. I just want to check out the room itself. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to investigate. Okay. All right. Uh... All right, I'm going to investigate this first. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. When in doubt, delete those records. Definitely not easy, but whatever. Just looks like an ordinary terminal. There's nothing unusual on the screen. Okay. 
Nothing there. So we have one last place, right? There are a lot of monitors in this room. I don't know what... I don't... What? Yeah. What's so important about investigating this? So you won't get bored. All right. Yeah, it's done, I guess. Everything's ready. You can stop your investigation. Okay. I will stop the investigation. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. Let's see what we're going to do here. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Hertz's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, what's this? Yeah, what is this? Item number 211, blind spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. What is this like an in invisibility cloak so herta hides her collection with something as simple as this the simplest method is the hardest to spot isn't that our i think motto? i need to see it in action <sighs> oh wait we can just oh this is cool um strange thing number two Whew. the data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram but it has an added layer let's take a look don't worry this place won't be our grave all right get me in there interesting She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, a Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the Genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. I am the best hacker. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. Nice. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. Hmm. Elio said this decision will bring about Wait. lots of changes. He also said it must be you who makes it. This is it! Ether! Lumine! Alright. I'm going with... Receptacle Y. Okay. Wanna give him a new name? <laughs> Ooh, what's the name? Hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> name suggestions. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yo mama, that's my favorite one. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh <laughs> This is um Tiffany. <laughs> Banana bread, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Look, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too... Let's not get... Okay, you know what? Let's not get too weird with this, okay? 
No, I'm not going to name him Koi. <laughs> it's Koi. Koi Dao. Um, I'm, I'm calling him... I'm sticking with... Uh, <laughs> I'm sticking with this weird name. There we go. <laughs> I am disappointed, you guys. I that was the How biggest bait ever. <laughs> that was Better such a bait. Um time to get up. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, do I know? I'm like... I'm like, who... are you? I thought you'd remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. <laughs> oh! Okay! <laughs> Damn! Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is I'm leaving, and you will be left alone in this space station. So from now on, you will not think about your past or have any doubts about yourself. Uh, okay. Listen. In the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. Are, are you God or like, how do you, how do you know uh, all this? At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, if ball's good, sure. Uh, <laughs> where are you going? Yes, that's what I would say. I'd be like, wait, are you going to leave me alone? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. I won't remember a thing except... Except for Kafka. No. Farewell. Kafka. I'm saying no. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Wise words. Thank you. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. Wait, stop it. They're awake. <laughs> Are you all right? I, oh, uh, sure? wake up. Uh, there's this dude in Do my you face. Remember your name? Wind Blade. I, I mean, uh, I, I don't remember a thing. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. M 
My name is Windblade. I mean, uh, uh, my name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This is March 7th? This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. The lead researcher? Uh-huh. Asta? The petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Yeah, where, where should I go? What? So what now, everybody? Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Yeah, maybe the first question I should have asked. Uh, who Don't are you guys? Are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. The Astral yeah. Express? You've never tell seen me, it? tell me all the, the things. Express comes here every once in a while. I feel like maybe I saw it at the uh, the the uh, login screen. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the master control zone. Let's go then. You and March go back together. Our land from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. I'm interested to see what the player a char the player character's abilities are. Mm, maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, what is that? though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. This place is full Wait. of fancy little gadgets. Is that a Herta's collection? I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them oh. here to gather dust. What is this? Dust. It's like a bat? It's like a bat or something. I thought I thought that was a play on words there for a, uh, for like a sec. I thought they were giving you a literal stick. And then she's like, you're safe Enough if you dilly stick dally. with me. We gotta go. Um, but... It's like a... I think it's like a... It's like a bat or something. Galaxy bat. <laughs> All right. I I like your I like your grunts. I like the grunts. Uh, it's the antimatter legion. It's all about the grunts. So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. Wait. <laughs> Watch this. You can dodge it. Oh wait. Oh, she's an archer. Oh! What do you know? My turn. My turn. So we have a defense ability here. Go! Watch this! Let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Whoa. You're annoying. Just a scratch. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> so that thing's frozen now. I'll focus on uh, this one. Whoa, Stardust Ace? Fools. 
are made to be broken. Okay, Trophy Ultimate will sing significantly enhance basic attack and skill. Um, I love this bat. I am, I am in super powered mode. <laughs> You've outstayed your welcome. You're stronger than you look. Seems nice. like the fighter. Pew 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 pew. So colorful. Look at these graphics. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Nope. Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? You tell me. Never I don't know. Us, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Show me the way. Got some treasure. I like treasure. Hold on. I got some stuff up here. Got like a phone. So let's see what we have now. Weakness attack. New is weakness break. Use attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness to deplete enemy toughness. When enemy toughness reaches zero, weakness break will be triggered. Trigger weakness break will deal physical damage and apply bleed effect, dealing physical DOT. Ice weakness break using ice attacks to trigger weakness break will, ap will apply frozen effect that prevents the enemy from taking actions. That was pretty cool how it was frozen before. I'll have to try to keep that in mind. Wind attacks, my favorite. Not that I'm biased or anything. Um, fire weakness. I want to use some fire. Interesting. So every every weakness break depending on like what um, element you're using has a different effect on uh, the enemy. Imaginary weakness break. We, so we have lightning, fire, lightning, quantum, imaginary. What's imaginary? Imagination. Okay, I want to go. I want to get back into it. Just had to check that out. Look at it. it says I'm a trailblazer. <laughs> the guy's like, huh? Can he hit me from over here? Can you pull the enemies towards you? Let's find out. How far will you chase me? You gotta hit them before they hit you. That's the way it works. My turn. The enemy is locked on to the trailblazer and will target them with attacks. Use March 7th. What is March 7th? To add a shield to an ally. Gotcha. So I want to use this. Click on that dude because he's targeted. With me out here, how can we lose? Defense. Let's make it quick. Yeah, let's destroy them all. All right. Um, I want to do the blast. How about this?
Later. You can't stun. Watch this. Oh no, that's so yeah. close. Blast. Yeah. Just gotta get this guy now. You can't run. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh wait, I have my ulties. Oops. Gotta try hard sometimes. Oh wait, can I attack and then use my Okay. Check out Let's this do it. awesome move. I'm ready to check out the awesome move. Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Now. What happens if I just use a... I think I used a blast last time I was, like, in this ultimate form. So I'm just going to do the single attack. Okay. I like that. It's pretty cool. I guess, yeah, you can just use your ultimates at any time. Don't mind me just walking all over the table. Space. Space anchor. What's this? Can restore HP for trailblazers and also like teleport different areas. So this is like your little waypoint and but also heals you. Cool. Fast travel not available yet. Can we go through here? No? Hold on, let me get this this item back here. Come on. Oh. Paimon likes treasure. Okay, I'm gonna dock to this thing. Ah, uh, I knew it. It's broken? Is that what it is? Is but it? But it wasn't me. The antimatter legion must have broken it. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. He is here. Whoa! We're saved. <sighs> kind of, maybe. Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. And then I just teleported behind you. And I just decided to, you know, be like, sup? Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured. I saw you guys fighting fatally. all those other guys, and, you know, he's just hanging out watching you. It's fine. You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. Team setup. Ooh, all right. Love this artwork. Um, okay. Open the team screen. This is my party setup. It's time. Add. Oh. Rearrange. Looks like you can have a lot. You could have a lot of different teams. Um, I don't even know how many characters are in this uh, beta. View character abilities and other character information here. Don Hung, level up. Oh, okay. Like, like Genshin. I level up. Have any more? I need more materials. Story of my life. Um, 
Oh, wait, I can sprint now. Nice. There we go. Nobody saw my aim. Don't worry about it. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. You can deal massive wind damage to a single enemy. Use his skill to target the enemy's weakness. Okay, so this is the enemy with the weakness. Let me try the E. That's like a that's like a wind spear. That's not that's not like a wind blade. It's wind wind spear. Watch this. Let's go. How about this? That's how it's done. That's how it's done, kids. Just like that. Uh all According to uh, Cake Ku. Hey, you're all together. Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Just want to say, it does suck when elevators don't work. Not only are you forced to use the stairs, but um, getting stuck inside of an elevator sucks even more. That has happened to me once. And, uh, yeah, it was bad oh, right. because I had to did give me pee. some sort of card. <sighs> March. But where did I put it? You lost it. Uh, here it is. Oh, uh. Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. You know what? Okay. Sorry. I'm not complaining. The space station Let's explore some more. That's Madame fine. Herta. I must do this for the safety of the master control zone and the staff there. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Sincerest apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone, right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely, and now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Is it just me or whenever you're playing, like, whenever you're playing, um, whenever, whenever the name, how do I explain this? Whenever the name shows up 
on the text that you've created, you want the character to say your name and you just, you, you think they're going to say it, but you know, there's no way that they could say your name at the same time. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Aren't you a nice Yeah, kid? you can use me as a crutch. Thank you. I got you. Is there anything more for me to do around here? Some more ingredients. Do you know why the Antimatter Legion would invade the station, Arlan? Oh no. They Wait, do I want to fight? For Madame Herta's collection. Space Anchor? Oh, sorry. As to why, oh. I still. Okay. I heard we still there's can't something called a Stellaron in Madame Herta's collection. That's I want to hear what these guys are saying. I, I don't want to initiate the battle just yet. I want to fight this thing, though. Oh, wait. Okay. The time is now. My turn. Um... Can I freeze it another freeze? What if you could do the double freeze? That'd be epic. All right, blast them away. Hua! Battle over. Okay. Clemency? Never heard of it. Okay. This guy's got the freeze. Let's make it quick. Blast. How about this? Oh, uh, so it happens right after they attack. I can use my ult. Be broken. The rules are meant to be broken, everyone. Watch this. What does he say again? Oh, this time he just went... And destroyed everybody. All right, we got some robotics happening in here. I, I, I like it. Collect readable items. What's this? Do you spend some time reading them as learning about people's lives and the lore is also part of the Trailblaze adventure. Okay, so you can actually go through and read stuff. I'm running through. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Cool. What are those? Oh, never mind. It's just another it's another guy we gotta fight. Give me some treasure. Stellar Jade. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Ultimate time? Of life and death. Let's check it out. In an instant. You just press the space bar? This sanctuary oh is but <laughs> it said single attack i used it on the uh, the weakest one um i don't know why that was cool though <laughs> oh, I, just, I, I was just Let's trying go. to use the ultimate i'm like oh i'll just use it yeah. it's like using the ultimate on uh 
on the enemy with 2 HP. It's the disrespect. had rare stuff like this sometimes you don't want to touch the shiny no. things light cones are garden of recollection technology they allow you to carry memories around very potent enhancement items i heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights but i have no idea how herta managed to get hold of one they were acquired legitimately that's all i can say take them they're very useful in combat All right, I took them. Trailblaze in time. Open up the light cone screen. Equipping light cones can increase character's stats. So this is like a, like an artifact that matches the character's path to activate the light cone's ability. Or is this just like a weapon? Interesting. Enhance. I have one star. Anything? Do I? I have nothing. I have a big bowl of nothing. Story of my life. Relics. I just. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's a lot of empty right now, but uh it will become full. All right. Get me over here. Take this Aww, little path. It? We've reached the elevator already. That wasn't too many monsters. I love the reactions. That's like what I do in Genshin, you know? Whoa! What is this? Centaur looking. Okay. Get a taste of my wind spear. Ow. What? Extra action. The enemy is about to use a powerful charged attack. Use March 7th's skill to provide a shield for your ally who is locked on. I'm the one that, that, wait, am I the one that he's locked onto? It is me, right? Uh, yes. Right there yes, right? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I hope I was right. Okay. Um, I I'm just worried. I gotta kill this guy soon sometimes. here. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Never mind. It wasn't that awesome. Uh, this one. Yeah. You can't run. What is this guy? Void Ranger Trampler? This thing is scary. Uh, rules are made to be broken. I'll just do the single. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Oh, cool. I like the shields. I did it right. I protected myself. Single attack. 
Watch me do no damage to you. How about this? Now that was a lot. Vortex lead. Ah! Wait. Just a scratch. You're annoying. Ow. You can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Check out the move of awesomeness. Hurrah! That was the move of awesomeness. Hey, sore losers. You can't just gang up on us. Go. <laughs> Why does it always have to get this exciting? <laughs> anyway, at least you're back. What? March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. Oh, you, Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting Himeko! locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herta would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, all right. Arlan? I'm fine. I'm ready to a pull. Quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? A lot of trouble. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Too much trouble. All the trouble. I've never met a more reckless girl in my life. I've met a... I've never, I've never, I don't, I don't speak for a living or anything. I've never met a more lively girl in my life. In that case, I'd rather not answer. I'd probably say this line. Huh. Looks like we have two Don Hungs on our team now. <sighs> Please leave me out of this. Don't involve me. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been well, worried about Well, I kind of didn't. <laughs> I kind of didn't have a a choice. Uh, I'm like, where am I? What is happening? Um, these people seem to know what they're doing, so I guess I'm gonna stick with them. Yes. All right. What is this weapon? Oh my gosh, guys, I am freaking out. This reminds me of the, uh, this is like the pizza cutter. This, look at this. That's what it is. A pan? It's not a pan, that's a pizza cutter. Pizza slicer. I don't even, what is the name for it? Is there a name for the pizza cutter? Giant pizza cutter! I've never had I've never called it by something. Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you. In times of disaster, oh, sorry. I realize more and more that the space station's sorry, Asta. are its most valuable assets. 
Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. You know, this voice sounds very familiar. Um, I see what you got. I don't want to say anything because I don't know for sure. And I don't know who has announced things or not. So, but this sounds like somebody else I am very familiar with. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? Oh, is it announced? Is it Felicia? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. It's it's uh, the voice of, uh, of Mona from Genshin. Yeah. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. It's funny because it's, that might get her attention. As soon as she started talking, I was like, she sounds so good. I'm like, wait a sec. This sounds so familiar. Oh, that would be of great help. Warp. Is this the fast travel? Oh, no, this is this is like fast travel. But oh, wait. This is not fast travel. This is this is time to pull. All right. <laughs> We're warping them into our hearts. Um okay, cool. How do I consume wait what okay everyone tell me what should i be warping on here what is the thing to warp on hold on who is this looks really cool though i like that i like the lion in the night before dawn the standard warp this this one I thought it said Sealy at first, um, <laughs> like, uh, like the Sealies from Genshin. Uh, beginner warp. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. You guys might be leading me astray. Let me, uh, let me think about this. 19 days left. 19 days, 19 days, 19 days. 20% off for set of 10 warps. A five-star character is guaranteed within 50 warps. Um, is this the one, everyone? Yes or no? Can I get some yeses or no? Is the seal, the sealy warp? Yes, no. Yes, no. I don't know what to, no? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, no. No, no, yes, no. Okay, there's more yeses. Okay. I'm just gonna do... Give me the 10. Oh, wait. I don't have enough. Wait. Hold on. Oh, I thought these... No, wait! I thought those were the things. I'll leave the reassurance of the research. Where's my mail? Where's if the you mail? Have any other questions? You're welcome. Hold on a sec. We're warping now. Look, I'm not familiar with the things. I saw the sparkly gems and I thought that those were the, the primos. Leave me alone. Stop it. 
welcome to come to Himiko. I am a tired old man. Okay. I'm ready. To war. Okay. Um. What did I press to get there before? This? Hold on a sec. Starting supply? Where am I? I need some... I need some warps. Spare warps? Okay. You know what? Um hold on. I'm just going to warp on the on the banner that I can warp on right now. I want to warp on this one, but look, we will wait for that. We we'll, we're going to wait for those warps, okay? Look, I'm sorry, I've I've scammed you all. Okay. Clara. I didn't read it. Did it say it was is that guaranteed? Or was that like I don't know that she just showed up. Did, was that supposed to happen? Like it's my first time pulling on it. Is that how... I was like... Wait. <laughs> it just... She just popped up. <laughs> like, there wasn't a... There wasn't like a lead up or like... She was like, oh yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay, cool. Cornucopia. Collapsing sky. Meshing cogs. Conversation. Loop. Arrows. All right. So we got uh, Clara. <laughs> that just caught me so off guard. I was like, wait a sec. <laughs> I see the five stars. I'm like, did we? What? Okay. I'll have to try her out. Let me go back to my, uh... Let me go to my party. It's very... I like how the menu is, uh, is very similar to Genshin, so, you know, it's not... It's, like, easy to, uh... It's easy to kind of... Navigate. I, I do want to check out, um... What banners... I think I so I do still have some I still have some warps here. Uh Should I try to go to go do a different one? Go do like the beginner one? Is it the same? Oh wait, no. That is the same one that we did. Or no, it's different. Standard warp and beginner warp. Hmm. Um, let's see. I want to do... I'll do a 10 on this warp. What do you think, everybody? I'm doing a 10 on this this warp. Or, no, wait. Is it the same? I'm just... Okay, I'll stick with this one. 20% off. Yes. So, is the 5 star the first thing that, that uh, pops up? Or... Cause there's definitely a five star in here. I can uh, I can feel it. Who's this? Hook. Look at this little cat. <laughs> I will say, like, I've been. <sighs> Look, guys, I have been saying this. Since the beginning of time. 
but like they always knock it out of the park with the designs i i think i've already told you guys the story like when i first saw even like ether's design i was like whoa this is crazy like it's so cool look at that little hat Preservation. Okay. Um, we have four. Am I allowed to? I just <laughs> insufficient star star rail pass. Consume my stellar jades. Do I want to use those stellar jades? Sure. Never mind, I don't have enough. Rest in peace. All right. <laughs> I can math. Um where Let me go back to my party real quick. Let's see. Asta, Clara. Hold on. I'm going to switch out some characters here. Sorry, March 7th. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let's, let's see Clara. Take caution. Oh, interesting. What is this? It's like a like a robot or something Take that you summon to fight for you. Take caution. That's pretty cool. So that's what we saw. Uh, her like. Uh, I think she was on like the robot's shoulder or something in the splash art. Always try to do the high pitched voices. Um, okay. If only I caught the antimatter legion sooner. Python! <laughs> yeah, oh, how I'm are you fine. feeling? This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. So, um, how's the space station? Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most mm. of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. Hmm. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, Is she actually? I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. she rich? All right. I'll leave you to get some rest. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Oh, I didn't press the light cone thing. Who do I talk to? There's so many people now. Okay, I'm going back to uh, Imiko for a while. Hinkle. Push the stick down, Alfred. Sorry, sorry. Or is it Hin person. Hinkle? Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, 
and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? You know, um, I think I got it. Sure. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I'm ready. Oh, wait. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, no, don't do this to me. Um, I was totally paying attention. Um, uh, three, two, uh, you go down, up, right. Up, right, down, right, left. Uh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Up, up, right, down. Up, right, down, right. Eeny, my mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are. Uh, yeah, this one's it. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Hmm? Abraham was close to him. Uh, I don't know he how died? to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. I'm just, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up here. So you can talk to any of these researchers? It's I like... need to leave. Oh, wait! I need to run from this forsaken. No, it's impossible. Just talking about Abraham. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look, the obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Yeah, don't. Oh, this line. What is this epic line? Life inevitably comes to an end, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. Not today. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. You're welcome. I know. Looks like that's all the researchers that need help. Let's go check in with Asta. All right, let's do it. Um. Ooh, pretty color, rainbow. Uh oh. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. Lost communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? Hmm. The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. Don't worry, guys. I will protect Himiko. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? Yes, me? Zack? What a strange name. He's that important? Yes, I am. He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. <sighs> As you say so. 
All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... I... can't handle... The Destruction's Emanator? I still feel that things won't be going as planned. Yep. Let's hurry up and get let's, out of here. Let's hope let's for the best, later. but expect the worst. Yes. Ha! All right. It, it's ta it's pizza slice in time. Oh wait, Clara. Or ah! punch in time. For every weakness break triggered, Miko will gain one stack of charge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Stay back, Clara. Whoa! You won't get away. Three, she will automatically unleash ability victory rush. Okay. Someone come on. Boom. <laughs> Eliminating <threat. laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. Can I just uh, punch through Take this? Caution. Get me. Look at I can fit through there. I can fit through there. <gasps> can I uh can I actually not get through here? Clear the obstacles. I can't clear the obstacles. I'm going around this way. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Hold on. I just want to use this pizza. Pizza slice! Let's go. Let's go. How about this? Oh, nice. Do the little speeds up, speed ups. I want to do the pizza, uh, pizza slice. Ah, but the blast does more. You won't get away. don't understand it's time humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens and i'm no exception whoa what <laughs> okay that was really cool um repulsion bridge hold on let me see this it can either be orange or blue connect the device the bridge show up only one color can be turned on at a time when the switch color lights up 
Okay. Uh oh. My brain. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Um. Okay. One is orange. One is blue. The blue one is activated right now. So that means that I should be able to go back and cross the bridge that is up above. And uh, if you guys are interested in finding more information out about this game that I am playing, which is the beta of Honkai Star Rail, click on my link in the description. It is right there. Please, for once, click the description. Okay, so now I have activated the orange and now I have crossed this thing. Pizza slice! Let's go. I asked before in the chat, is there actually not a name for that like weapon? I'm I am going to cut it or call it a pizza cutter forever. I have something for you. Blast. <laughs> Of you. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. Hide. Okay, hold on. I kind of want to mess around with my party a little bit more again. I'm going to take, I want. Who, do, who did I want in here? Asta. <laughs> Space anchor. We are good. Do that. Oh, Void Ranger. Level 11? Wait a sec. That's kind of scary. I don't... Should I be trying to fight this guy? I feel like I'm going to die here if I try to should i go for it wait level up maybe a little bit or something can i come on main character all the way do it don't do it yes no yes no level up first you should level up your characters I can do it. You don't believe in me, huh? Do you know who I am? I think I'm gonna do it. Wait. Precious treasure. I didn't press the thing fast enough. What's this? Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna try to do it. Where's my save point? I think it's fine, guys. I think it's fine. I think I can do it. Um, let me just I I just put Asta into the party, but I think I'm going to let me just make sure I have my strongest characters here for the time being. Okay, we're good. Alright, guys, let's do this. Okay, uh, this is fine. All right, hold on. We got this. Just a scratch. Okay, um, all right. We do not have this. Wow, that did so much damage. Uh, I did not put the... Who is the girl with the shield? I did not put her in the party. Well, it's totally cool because uh rules are made to be broken. All yeah. planned. Run you away. away. I never go. run. Time for an overhaul. Perhaps you 
still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Come on. I'm not afraid of you. It's okay. We're doing fine. We're doing. We're doing okay. Annihilate. We're fighting is me. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Hold on a sec, everyone. This isn't that bad. No interesting conflict. I'm kind of popping off right now. As you come back. Ow. As you come back. Okay. Cut. Please. Look out. Uh oh. This isn't good. Uh, this is not a good time. Okay. Uh, Stay back, Clara. Wait. Are you all right? Oh. I'm okay. Let's make it quick. All right. Somebody tell me. Uh, how do I save myself from this? I. Uh, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Look. I don't know what happened to Himiko. Okay. She. She died too fast. Um. A blast? Blast! <laughs> Help! Eliminating threat. Okay. Is there hope? Hold on a sec. Is there hope here? Are made to be broken. Let's go. The truth of life and death revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's Please. make it quick. I just don't do enough damage. So this is. I don't think there's hope anymore, guys. That's that's defeat. It's okay. Well, let's uh Exactly Chandler, where is my revival food? What happens when you die? Oh. I'm right here. Well, that wasn't bad. So I know exactly why I uh, lost there. And it's because I made the biggest mistake of all, which um, is not uh, using the bathroom before the battle. So I will be right back because that's that's why I lost. Okay. All right. Sweet. Well, I am not going to fight that thing again. Um, I'm running to the railway now. In the future, when I'm stronger. Let's see. Pizza slice. I know. I think I need to put March back in. March 7th, the most powerful day of all. Cut. Are you all right? I'm okay. You won't 
get away. Blast them all. Look out. Stay back, Clara. You won't get away. Pizza slice. There it is. Okay, I'll put March back in soon. I have something for you. don't understand humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens and i'm no exception Annihilate. so i also want to control the heavens <laughs> reach the railway rail rail <laughs> Railway, <laughs> railway platform as quickly as possible. Ah, uh, yes, the platform. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. I'm gonna get on the express. This is gonna be so cool. Um. Okay. Clara, I am sorry, but I need March 7th right now. I will put you back in soon. Wait, March! Huh? Huh? Uh oh. The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Okay. Uh oh. All right. This is fine. Uh, um. Okay. So you can right hand, right hand the engine. Right hand, left hand. Okay. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. It's but a vision. I like that. Let's go. I have something for you. Off. Wait a sec. What do I do here? Maybe I should try to go for one of the hands instead. Did a decent amount of damage to the engine, but Let's see what happens if I do this. My turn. I don't think. Wait, ice, ice. Wait. Oh, I just realized this has a different weakness than the. the what am I doing? Let's make it quick. You won't get away. Uh oh. <coughs> Ow. Rules are made to be broken. All right. What am I going for here? This hand is made to be broken. <laughs> huh. 
fighting is meaningless. There we go. Let's go. I don't want to be alone. No, you still don't understand. March. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. I should have shielded March with the thing. I need her alive for this. Mm. Mistakes were made, okay? Get away. Oh boy, now we still have to fight this. Oh boy, okay. No, it's fine. Oh wait, okay, we're doing some damage. That's all right. Let's go. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. There we go. Okay. March. He saved March. What was that vision that he had? Who's this guy? Mr. Yang, is They're okay he... now. Let's talk somewhere else. What happened? Uh, is this a space station? Did he has did he get protagonist power protagonist energy right there the doomsday beast was as tame as a kitten it had no temper at all even the doomsday beast is no match for my awesomeness I am the hero. Himiko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, all right? We should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. You exchanged your cell phone number with March 7th. Okay, off I go. Bye. Himiko should be nearby. I'm jealous, man. This guy talks. This guy actually, sp this guy has lines. Share your experience and anecdotes with your companions by sending them messages. An interesting system. Yeah, yeah, stop. You don't need to make fun of me, okay? Look, you have no idea how many conventions I go to where everyone's like, oh, yeah, you sound great in the game for, like, your five lines. And I'm like... Thanks. I think. All right. Um, 
Use level up or ascend on your light cones to enhance their stats, making the wearer more powerful. I still got to get the hang of all of these things. I think I'm kind of already prepped because I play Genshin, but just in case. Not everything is the same, but the menus are similar, which I will say, I think it makes it easier to navigate. Um, when the light cone matches the wearer's path, its special power will be awoken. Okay. You may encounter a powerful enemy. It's the screenshot of the guy I died to. How awesome. Using technique points. Different characters have different technique buffs. Try out a few and see what happens. Technique points. Hmm. All right, I already knew that. Okay. Emiko wants... Hey there, this is March. This is March. <laughs> the face. Don't forget. That's cool. Achieved. Let me claim these. Okay. Oh, here's Himeko. You're awake. I had March and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Wow. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? You're a robot? What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. What? So, this little twerp has the stellar on now? So what does Herda actually look like? Hmm, I'll have to take a good look. Hmm, truly amazing. I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated stellar on and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. Who are you to talk about my body? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. To me? I'm like 12 or something. Don't judge a book by its cover, Herda. Case in point, that puppet body of yours is actually much smaller than him. That's beside the point. Hey, is this one the same kind as that March 7? If Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. I, uh, <laughs> what's your price? Oh, this little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. 
All right, give the poor child a break, Herta. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herta wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. You know, as long as uh, I'm getting paid, uh, where is the payment? Get on the express or stay behind. You really are the most self-centered person I've ever met. <laughs> My advice would be to get on. You're not doing me that big of a favor by staying anyway. Just remember. I want to get on Arthur. the express. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Okay, I think I've made my decision. I'm ready to go. Complete objectives to get bountiful rewards. Do, 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 do. Obtain lingering shadows. Cool. Are you still at my space station? I need your help with something. Come to my office when you have a chance. I am standing in front of you. Well, in front of the puppet that is you, I guess. <coughs> That's right. I am also excited for the lore of this game. Yes. It does look really cool. Yo, there you are. How did, wait, yeah, how did you just teleport? What? This is kind of scary. <laughs> you have a, puppets everywhere? Eons, think about it. What mystical existence is? Some were used to be ordinary humans like you and I, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrible. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they cu Why were they created? What were they created for? Zach, have you thought about these questions? Every single... Uh... 42? 24! No, 25! The big machine in the office. That machine contains a universe, just like the world we live in. But more streamlined. I call it the <laughs> metaverse. 
Okay. Seriously? Don't ride that hype train. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go on and experience it for yourself. I will guide you to the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a big reward. Cool. Exploration mode. So this is like uh, like a uh, dungeon. <clears throat> oh wait, no, we already have. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, like a uh, like a domain. Okay. Freeze. This will strengthen our position. Make it quick. There we go. Easy. So what is this? Check obtained blessings. At the start of the battle, all enemies, all, all enemies. I cannot speak today. I have a hundred fifty chance. I'll take this one. I never shield anyways. <clears throat> Add one character at a time to the team. Try out different team setups for your enemies. Okay. Interest in conflict. Conflict. I'm not afraid of you. Hide. Sweet. Characters ha have it. Attack increased by eighty percent by eighty percent of their shield when attacking present or enemy crit rate is increased. Oh my gosh. OP Cosmic Fragment can be acquired from opening it can be used to exchange curios with special buffs with her touch. Can it can it aid your expert by resetting your blessing or reviving allies that can no longer fight? Okay. Lots to learn. There's still lots to learn. Did this guy even see me? <laughs> code we got here. But what if it works? Run the code! Success! Store HP after being attacked. Run the code again! Okay. Oops, wait, what was... Okay. Hold on. Abandoned code. Running abandoned code you gathered from your exploration on the interpreter may... 
get you extra blessings. However, you can only run the interpreter a limited number of times. When the enemy is defeated, you can choose one blessing from the eons, which gives you powerful buffs. Okay. <clears throat> this will strengthen our position. I will destroy them all. I will fight them. meaningless is it <laughs> wait the truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision Break. <laughs> what is up with the frozen i got frozen all over so strong increase path of preservation after a character receives incoming healing and gain a shield at the start of the turn increase until okay I'll take that so what's this is this the oh continue forward next floor how many floors are we going to in this uh, little universe You current details map shows your location blessings show you all the blessings you have acquired curio shows you all the curios code okay so here are all my blessings i am currently the strongest person ever curios code okay <clears throat> all right where do I go from here, everybody? And by the way, I, I do want to say thank you guys so much for all the all the support on the on the in the stream and the super chats and the members. I really do appreciate it, guys. I will uh be sure I read everybody's, you know, make sure I thank everyone before I uh I end the stream today. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I am just getting accustomed to this. <clears throat> We're learning lots of stuff here. I found. Take whatever curios you need. I should. I should continue investigating. Okay. Lighthouse. Upon entering the final floor, fully restore all characters' HP and energy. <clears throat> Jellyfish. For the next floor, when entering battle, reduce the attack of all enemies by 30% for... When entering battle, I take damage equal to 20% of their max HP. Which one is the most helpful? I'm gonna go with this one. It's fine. I know what I'm doing, I think. But not really. Let's go. Next floor. Okay, well, um... This will strengthen our position. Yeah. Freeze. All right, it's fine. I'm just pressing buttons. 
Okay. What am I doing? An Everly welcome. I like jellyfish. I love jellyfish. Let's make it quick. Will freezing do anything at this point right now? Hide. Fighting is meaningless. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. No interest in conflict. Oh, I haven't even seen hers yet. Let's go. I'm not afraid of you. Look out. Go away. As you come back. Here we go. Eliminating threat. Nice. Cool. So we did it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take that simulated universe. Different game modes. In exploration mode, you will send out a separate team on an exploration in which you will fight enemies, meet companions. The more difficult challenge mode will only be unlocked after you create a save file from exploration mode. Oh boy. I don't think I'm ready for that mode yet. Click to switch between maps. Use navigation to teleport. So entrance. The voyage continues. So this is the, uh, this is the main quest. All right. I just want to get on the, on the thing. The express, there it is. Hey, Ugg. I, uh, got your number without asking. Are you still at the space station? I've already left on the express to explore the galaxy. Um. It depends on what you need my help with. You are the fastest texture in all of humanity. Station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, I'd like to... Uh-oh. My, my phone's credits for this one. This last message. Uh, I'll be waiting. All right. Um. That's nice. I do I have to do that? I don't want to. I'm gonna go on the uh, the the fancy train. So, have you thought things through? I want to join then the express. I'm ready. Ooh. Is this like some this is like some kind of animal up here looks like it's like a 
like a shark giant shark with no head hey you're over there looking dumbfounded yes i'm talking to you you not gonna tell me about your situation now listen up i'll only say this once i have to i have to give them a voice uh <laughs> Everyone on here has their secrets on the Astral Express. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. Everyone here is special. You'd best remember that. Hey, Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you're having no trouble. I'm so sorry, Pom Pom. <laughs> Don't miss out on the goodies. Claim plenty of rewards after you increase your level. Okay. So. How's my Trailblaze level? I'll claim that. I'll claim that. Oh, I'll claim that too. I'll claim that again. Give me them all. Yes. Oh, it's you, Mr. Yang. I've... How do I feel? Very tasteful. Oh, you mean the train? Oh, I thought that's... Wait, that's exactly what I... That's exactly what I meant. I have to thank you for saving March. You guys saved me too. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Yeah, yeah you know, I, did, I didn't, uh, I didn't really think about it. That is what it means to be a hero. The Stellaron is still in your body. You should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. It won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station. You must be tired. The Express will be jumping to the next station soon, so get some rest while you can. What is this? Give me more things. Travel encounters and some Trailblaze XP. Star Rail Pass. Okay. That's right. Oh, I have the light cones. I still gotta equip those. Oops. I, uh, done goofed. No wonder. I should be stronger. Um. Alright, let's give March something. I have no idea what is supposed to be, like, good and whatnot, but, uh, we will figure this out. Um, or I will guess. I like I like big attack. But damage taken is reduced by twenty four percent. Sure, I'll take it. Increases damage dealt from its wear to enemies above 50% of their max HP. Unleashes their ultimate, the wear restores 18% of their max HP. Crit rate of its wear. Ooh, that might be kind of helpful. I like crit rate. At the beginning of combat... Immediately restores 8 energy for all allies. Hmm. I, I, I want this one.
Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm fine for... I'm fine for right now. The Express is warp jumping soon, so get some rest. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. The next planet? I'm ready. The universe. The Astral Express. Eons. Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? The Stellaron thing. In my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescued from the ice? Where were you? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, you did. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. What? <laughs> Kimeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. And the date that I was saved was March 7th. Um, <laughs> what happened before I you were frozen? I don't remember a thing. Oh, well, there it is. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me. Oh, wow. So it stuck. What do you know? What do you know? Okay. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and it. following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day I can find my past. That would suck. Being frozen in a block of ice, drifting through space. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. Sorry. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, <laughs> cheer up. It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. Oh, so that's Pom Pom's. We'll jumping in about 10 minutes. That's Pom Pom's voice. Return to your seats, please. Both of you. Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. <laughs> so Pom Pom's like, well, I wouldn't normally be coming by again and again to remind you, but you are always falling all over the train. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> We're gonna get sued. Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. It's so cute. L like a little, little bunny. Little bunny creature. A very comfortable sofa. Hold on tight and wait for the jump. I'm ready to go. Please, just get me on there. All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. Maybe you should sit down. Five, four, Why is she... Three, two, one. She fell over. Those millennia. Is this what Eurilo 6 has become? Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Ugh. Spatial readout anomaly. 
Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. In indefinitely? Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Okay, well... The only sensible that... thing to do would be to break hard, right? Sure. If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Stellarons are Tell me what they are. a mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So we're like a shiver... <laughs> Whoever did this line is amazing. So we're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Right. You finally get what we're all about. Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Interesting. Awesome. We get okay. to work as a team again. I'm kind of hey, sleepy. That's not the spirit. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance. I think somebody to turned out all the lights. Own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. All right. So this is the planet. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Yeah, why aren't you with everyone else? I enjoy being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. Honestly, same. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. Okay. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Miko wants us Before all to you go came, together. Whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Okay. 
Okay, everybody. I think this is where we're gonna end it so that for the next one I can be on the planet for for there. Um You know, playing this game has made me so interested in the lore behind like all of this and the characters in the universe. Um I might have to do some some research because I'm just kind of curious about a lot of things now that they I have been thrown into this universe. Um thank you guys so much for coming and uh thank you again to uh Poyoverse for sponsoring this stream. If you guys are interested in the game, click the link down below in the description and and check it out. Um It's cool to see something that's like similar to Genshin with, you know, menus and things that I can relate to just because uh I think it just kind of makes it easy to play and get into. Um, absolutely love the character designs as always. They kill it. I'm excited to jump on this new planet and see what is in store for next time. But um, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. And really quick as I kind of uh, go through here, I just want to say um, thank you to everybody who uh, threw in a super chat and or welcome back to the Airbuds. Let me go back and, you know, make sure I say thank you to uh, everyone. Let's see. Who do we have here? Do, do, do. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, do, do, do. Uh, music lover, Bree, Stephanie, anxiety. Thank you. Uh, uh. Uh, Alisi Sora, welcome to the Airbuds. Lucero, thank you for 12 months. Ari Suja, Alyssa, Gabriella, how is it going? Do, 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 uh, do, 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 uh, anxiety, welcome to the Airbuds, by the way. Julie, Kendi for Life, thank you for the $20 super chat. And Kendi for Life, thank you for another super chat. Awesome meeting you. Uh, Gabriella asked, will I be going to, uh, hey, heck, sadly, I don't think I'll be there this year. Um, do, do, Candy, thank you. Uh, uh, Nevshur, welcome back for, to the earbuds for seven months. Mackenzie, welcome back for 12 months. Alec, thank you for the, it says four months in a row, not three months, Alec, four months in a row. And thank you also for the super chat. Um, Hikaru, thank you. Norma Garcia, thank you for the super chat. Magical creatures, how you doing? Mackenzie McLean, Kyrie Xora, Michael Kuhn, welcome to the Airbuds. Michael Kuhn, thank you for the super chat and thank you. Yes, my Paimon impression is very good. Uh, very, very good. Probably too good sometimes. I have emergency food. Ah, Paimon. Jade, welcome back to the Airbuds. Neuro Eevee, welcome back. Alec, Neuro Eevee again, thank you for the super chat. Seely <laughs> is pronounced Sele. Uh Marissa Brandt. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to the Airbud or welcome to the Airbuds for the very first time. It is amazing here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh Snix, I hope you're doing well. Looking forward to seeing you uh next Saturday. Yes, I will see you there. Uh I will see you there at OG. And Zara, thank you for making my day great. No, Zara or Zara, thank you for making my day great. Um, really appreciate you guys. Until next time, uh, more Honkai Star Rail coming soon. Why did you sound like Elmo? What do you mean? I don't sound like Elmo. Um, okay. Well, uh, bye guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I don't sound like Elmo. Ah! Ah! Toma, why did you join right at the end? What are you doing? Toma, you're always late. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. See ya. Have a good night and or afternoon, evening, uh, morning.
wherever it is you are in the world. Um, I hope you'll use the nickname not either. It's not him. <laughs> this one actually has lines. It's it's not him. Uh, Technoblade. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Bye. Take care.